day, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. They're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor? Help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. So we'll bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. Really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't. Make we just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold. Well, I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come on, then.
What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I've told you everything. Now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. To all carpenters, and you desire... Should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. We'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their village, assaulting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! No! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. 